Hey, what's going on guys? Sonic's here. Hope all is well. I recently made a video talking about what I personally believe a Sonic origin story should be, and I explain not only Sonic the Hedgehog's origins, but also the origins of other characters. I'm not going to go into full detail on what I talked about in that video because, again, there is a video for it, but it will help you also understand this video a lot better, so if you haven't seen that yet, definitely go check it out. But anyway, after I finished that video, I got an email from one of my viewers. They said, hey man, I just saw your recent Sonic backstory video and I really enjoyed it. So I decided to get some quick sketches up that I'll finish when I get home from church. And also, I showed you some of my finished work to give you an idea of what the art will look like when finished. If you want to see a little short comic on this, just let me know. Anyways, have a great rest of your day and stay blessed. The person who emailed me is named Scooter, and you can check him out on Twitter as well under the name Scooters. The link will be in the description for that as well, too. But anyway, Scooter and I talked more through email just discussing what this potential project could look like, and of course, I would have to make a video on it, because this art is just so legendary, guys. This is really cool. So, eventually, just after a few days, the comic was finished, and here I am about to talk about it with you. And I do want to highlight here, just for Scooter's sake, that this is the first time he ever did a digital comic, and the fact that it turned out this great well it just blows me away so i want to implore you guys to definitely check this out for yourself it's on his twitter page so you should be able to find it pretty easily on there and also i'll leave the link for that also in the description so with that in mind i'm not going to go into its entirety of discussing each and every single little thing said here in the comic i just want to do a little overview and get you guys interested in this fan fiction the first page of Scooter's comic not only goes into the whole idea of what the Chaos Emeralds are and what they're capable of, but also it begins my fanfiction in explaining just how Sonic was able to transform and become the Sonic we know him as. In my full fanfiction video, I talked about how Sonic began as a regular looking hedgehog, but was able to transform into Sonic because of the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Because Sonic came in contact with the Chaos Emeralds, every single character that we really know about, with few exceptions, gained more human-like qualities in becoming anthropomorphic animals. Some of these characters also gained new abilities, like Sonic gaining super speed. This would explain not only how Sonic is fast, but also the way Sonic looks. And in the first page of Scooter's comic, all of this is pretty much explained. The second page kicks off with Eggman being absolutely terrified that Sonic has begun this transformation, and not only that, but he's destroying every one of his machines. This not only causes much panic in Dr. Eggman because of the fact that Sonic is absolutely decimating his life's work, but also because his grandfather had dealt with similar issues in the past. He studied the Echidna's history as well as Chaos, at least according to my fanfiction and as illustrated here. Chaos was the one who reverted all of the animals back to their primitive state in becoming just regular animals instead of being animal people that we see in the games. On page 3, Sonic destroys Eggman's generator, sending him into a frenzy, screaming angrily, saying that he can't stand that hedgehog, and he hates that hedgehog. And with that being said, that kind of ends the four-page comic we have here with the footnote saying, you're too cool. I love how Scooter is able to capture that 90s feel of Sonic the Hedgehog with still remaining my fan fiction at the end of the day, exactly as I described in my previous video, and I really love to see it come to life. So, Scooter, again, thank you very much for doing this. This is really amazing. Also, I love seeing the little references to other YouTubers, like seeing Sam stop drowning Chow, and other little fun references as well. At the end of the day, I think this comic is just really cool because it kind of puts exactly what I had in my head to paper. And Scooter, again, you're awesome. Thank you so much for bringing this to life, and thank you all again so much for watching. And as always, leave a like and subscribe on the video if you enjoyed it because I would really appreciate it, and it goes a super long way. But anyway, now's a great time as any to shout out my legendary channel members. Thank you all so very much for supporting me and my channel and creating the best possible content that I can create. Videos like these would not be possible without you, and your support goes a super long way. I praise the Lord for you y'all every single day. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are the best. If you're interested in becoming a member of my channel, there'll be a link in the description down below. But if you want to support me through other means, I have a merch store, and you guys can check out all sorts of Sonic's swag, whether it be hoodies, hats, t-shirts, you name it, we got it. The link will be in the description for that as well. But anyway, thank you all again so much for watching. This is Sonic's Sound Out, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a super blessed day. Why are you playing that trash?